Welcome back to Less Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. Mike. And today we're cracking open a new bottle of Remedy Distillery Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this one comes courtesy of my buddy Mike. Thank you very much for this bottle donation. This one, it, it, he, he lives in Georgia, so he had brought this up when he came here back home to visit. Thank you. Thank you very much again, Mike, for that. So this is a 90 proof bourbon. He got it for approximately, well, it sells for approximately $35. This is barrel number 44.71 G20, bottle number 97 out of 277. So this is located right down in downtown Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, it is a, it is supposed to be in, it says right on the bottle, distilled in Indiana. So this has got to be MGP juice is what I'm assuming. And then they do what they do as everybody else does what they does do it with. That's what they does. That's what they does with yeah, their boom. juice. So, uh, this is a single barrel product though. So each barrel has its own unique character and taste. And they, they say they, on their website, this is where I got this information from, they prefer to do it that way. They don't want to blend it because they want you to experience which each individual crafted barrel gives you a flavor. Like and it says that on a, on a little thing, yeah. like the old days and prohibition and that's... There are certain, a lot of, there are a couple of, that's a nice cork. There are a couple of the companies that are doing the same thing where they're, 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 they're sourcing barrels from various people and they're selling them as single barrel products not so that they could do it at a higher premium but more because now you get that uniqueness and it's not that you right. know if you get like everyone else is blending them all together but sometimes you get a really good barrel really bad barrel so if they if they're buying certain barrels with their flavor profile that they like so be interesting to try he's never right. tried it so i like to be a guinea pig i'm in for that Originally, I thought they actually, me. I actually thought they brewed their own stuff, but the bottle reader said, eh. yep, bottle reader caught that. Good for him. <laughs> He's, he was on, he was on his game today. That's what I like to see. Even in my research on the website, they didn't say sourced at all. You know what I mean? But it wasn't like with Rocktown where they're like, we're makers, not fakers, yeah. damn it. You yeah. know what I mean? They were this not nose, a bad nose. I was going to say, this nose is actually better than... One of them we did yesterday. It's better than both of them, I think, we did yesterday, no, to be honest with you. The one came came around in the end. It did, but, but it took it, forever. It, it this take, this yeah, is literally... Wait until we did the second one, yeah. and I went back and actually... It, I mean, it this is, we just cracked the bottle, and it's already jumping yeah, out of the it's, glass. It's what, 90, 90 It's only proof, a 90 so. proofer, right? I'm not disappointed with the nose. Nope. Actually, I'm not disappointed with the flavor. You know... It hasn't. My dog's going to go berserk, so I'm going to apologize for that in advance because I just heard someone driving my driver. It has a nice, um, it's almost like sugar-esque taste to uh, it. I'll go a light sugary. You, yes. you know what I mean? Not like syrup. Like, well, oh, I, I, not, to, not a maple syrup, but no. like the texture of a syrup. Like, you know, the other ones that we drank the other day, they were like water I, I would with the flavor just kind of like your rock this. candy yes. style. Not, I'll, I'll go with that. Not, Correct. Not the syrup, not the maple no. flavor. But it, when you left it on tasty. your tongue, it, it, the, 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 yeah, I didn't. It, I failed to do that. I sometimes. failed to do that. <laughs> it, it, it coated a lot better. Like the viscosity was better than both of them mm -hmm. yesterday. Like it actually, for a 90 proof, it actually has a, a halfway decent viscosity and it, it brings like it's that a, sugar esque flavor. It's got a good flavor. Yeah. And for craft, this is actually. A very reasonable price. Now, it is, but you can't consider them craft because they didn't make it. I thought they were going to be a craft distillery, so I was going to actually rave okay, about that. So, so for, for a sourced one, even though. Uh, but again, they're off to a good start. No, I, I no, no, no. What so I'm if they're doing this, yeah, I'm sure they're trying to make their own. So it's sitting somewhere, and it's they're probably trying to blend to. I would, yeah, I would, I'd, I'd have I to, would, I would love to go down and visit them because it's so, right down the street from them. So I would love to go down and actually try tour to the facility. We, I would we assume, actually have one that we need to go see. Well, there are a bunch though, you know, there are a bunch of them though. Like even the bourbon junkies right now are sourcing whiskey and they're putting it under their own label. I no, mean, that's I, how I, Penelope I, started. I get that. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of them that don't inspire to be so, a distillery. So Treehouse started that, but they think they yeah, have well, their they own do, they, But they have 
beer. You know what I they mean? Do, they, 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 they started of them as a brewery. Oh, no, you're right. Even winemakers now are starting to do. Yeah, but Treehouse is making their own stuff. I think they just started. I think they're old enough now that they can. Well, I think no, they they, they've always two, made. They were doing it because they made because they, they made the white liquor. Yeah, they were yeah, yeah. making the white liquor. We, we got to go there. Actually, I say we. It's I a brewery there. though, it, as far as a distillery. But they have both. I, I get you. <laughs> and and I've yet to go there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stop by and pick one. Neither up. have I. We could always we could always walk down there. It, it, we know mm. where it is. You know what I mean. So that I, I, I'm not opposed to it. I'm just saying it's it started as a brewery. No, they had the distiller and liquor. We did very there. successful. We brewery. did their gin. Yeah, you know what I mean. So and that was actually very good. It was. Very this good. is actually very good. I I will say because the more I keep sipping again, this, it has a good viscosity. It does. It and, really and does. So whoever's like been grabbing from these guys. They've been doing a pretty good job because this is probably what the second, third, fourth one we've done. We've done way more than that. You know, yeah, so, no, there's a ton of them that so they, go from here. They're, you know, it's doing a great job. It's funny because it actually was Green River. Then? I, I don't know. Originally, the juice that was coming out of the Green River Distillery, I believe, was MGP, but now they brew all their own stuff. They do all their own stuff. So they started. But, but they I think they were one of the distilleries that. I think they were sourcing from I various remember, places to begin they, with. Were they Diego? They weren't under remember? their name, though. It was like two X. It wasn't two X. Oh, sorry, because that's 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 someone else's totally thing. But it was it was another O X I or something was like it that. Was MGP though? I think they sourced from them originally, but they it was under a different brand. And yeah. as soon as they started doing theirs, like the Nelson Green, like once they once they started doing their juice, they switched the name. You know how they used to do Bell yeah, Mead, yeah, 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 but yeah. then they switched to their own name. That's what Green River did. They used to be under a different name, and now that they're using their own juice, it's Green River stuff. You know what I mean? So I don't know if this is this distillery is actually big enough to actually be making their own juice or anything like that, but th- this is actually very good, I, I, especially I for the price tag. Yeah. And for the for a 90-proof whiskey, this drinks very well. It, it has it, a it, lot it, of flavor. It does. In it. A decent viscosity. Vis- yeah, I can say that word. Viscosity. viscosity. With viscosity and a decent hang time. It actually for for a lower I, proof I, I bourbon, actually it's actually it. it's actually very good. Yep. So it's Mike, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Well, he had told this, me don't hold back, is, and I told him, "Oh no, you're going to get the whole." If if it no. sucks, trust me, I, I don't I don't hold if back. If you go back a few <laughs> episodes, you probably see that some of us don't hold back. <laughs> no, honestly, they, you know whether we get it. And thank you again for the generous donation because yes. it, it's always nice to to, to get bottles uh, that we didn't buy. But you know, with that, we I, figured we could. This. No, it, it's actually I agree. I agree, but. I, I, I only wish they actually were brewing and, it. That would have been even better, but I they, they don't ship. So if, if I remember do, correctly, I you know, Gainesville is 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 More like forty five northwest, forty five minutes out of like Atlanta, Georgia. I don't it's 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 more of a suburb. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know how big the distillery right. is. I don't think they have a big shipping network. I don't mm-hmm. think it goes very far. In, in, in the range or anything like that. Like they did, if you, you know, were cruising through though and you wanted something different, I, I would recommend this. I would try it. George has been kicking it lately. Like like we, we haven't got any yet. We have some someone's bootlegging some up from South Carolina as we speak. So whenever it can finally get here, because it's going to Maine first and then gonna come down to us. But they got thirteen colonies supposed to be just just top notch stuff that everyone's been raving about. And we can't find a double oak, but I do have uh the other two coming. And, and someone's going to Maine in a few weeks, so that's We'll be shopping. No, I know. And what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like Georgia, that's Georgia. This is Georgia. And, and uh, I have another one on, on the shelf over here that we got that was made in Atlanta, Georgia, that we haven't done oh, that yep. Steve did. That was actually very good, too, on the initial pre-test to make sure it wasn't poison and stuff like that. But uh, overall, this is this one actually is very, very good. So if you do happen mm-hmm. to see it. Uh, I'd say all day, 35. It's, it's well worth a try. I like the fact that they do do the single barrel products too, because like even if I, especially if I, I was him and I lived, you know, you know, in the general area, that have a you could tweet. go and get a different barrel, and as long as you don't pick the same barrel number, you got a chance of getting a totally different profile and a totally Which, different flavor and taste. To see it. So if, it would, is it way out or is well, it, it, that's what I would end up doing. Like I'm going to buy this barrel, I'm going to buy this barrel. You know what I mean? I'm going to see like are they way off profile right. or are they all kind of mm-hmm. the same? You know what I mean? It would be a little game that but I played I, if I lived and, down and there. It's kind of it's kind of the game we have going with bookers, really. It is. It's, it's a crapshoot. Yeah, you never know or, what you're going to get. Or the Elijahs or the last. All of them, right? Because each 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 barrel proof is is something 
but at least they're blending them. You know what I mean? Yeah. A little bit different way. It, this is just even even the knob store picks the same but different. I do say I got to get another one of them too. So, well, there you go. We'll keep this one short and sweet because I don't remember what the last one was. So, Remedy Distillery out of Gainesville, Georgia. If you do happen to see it, thirty five dollars for this flavor. I mean, it's another good taste in MGP. That that's I, all I can say. And, and we've had a lot of them. And it just fits right in the oh, category. So whatever so, they're doing, they're in the right track. I, ninety proof. We're going to throw this up against some guys. We'll see what happens because we have we have a handful of ninety proofers yeah. around on, on the yeah, shelf we've done now. A few so lately, actually. right. So we can see. Maybe we'll take a they couple. They evaporate. Well, they are evaporating. It is very hot up here. So trust me. I, I, I looked the other day. I'm like, man. Every time I turn around, these things are going. So <laughs> that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep your suggestions and comments coming. I greatly yes. appreciate it because it does make it easier to guide us in a certain direction. So. Thank you again, Mike. Yes, Spend less, drink more. Cheers. Cheers. Subscribe. Mm. I would get that again.